loaded up. About to get her on. There's Gookie Head. There's Caroline. All right, so we're loaded up. I'm waiting on the girls to get, come on up to the trailer. Man, I tell you, getting it up the hill would have been a lot easier if I used the correct hitch. Uh, something I'm gonna have, just have to learn to do. So I have a regular hitch that I use, which is not near as high as my towing hitch. And um, so uh, I had that on, not thinking, because this is my first time doing everything. And, and so I almost bottomed out coming up to the top of this uh, hill that, uh, where we pulled it up, pulled it up onto the top. But uh, anyway, we got it set up uh, finally. And then uh, so getting the girls loaded up and we fixing to head to East Texas for the maiden voyage. Jefferson, Texas. We've been on the road a little bit, stopped and checked on our rigs, made sure everything was good, put a little air in the tires, got them topped off. Had a 20 mile an hour crosswind, so I've been white knuckling down I-20 for the last 40 something minutes. So, uh, so Barry's taking the lead now. He's been following me, now I'm gonna follow him. He likes to go a little faster than me, I think. So I get to white knuckle following him. So the thing I found and noticed that when I was ooh, trying to get around this rig, ah, okay, we got past him. Uh, okay, so, um, so the thing I noticed is that when I'm using cruise control, man, this Tacoma is revving up. I mean, trying to keep that 65 miles an hour, man, it is just and my gas mileage dropped down to like 9.1. So pulled it off of the cruise and just kind of went with manual and I'm up to 10.4 miles to the gallon now. So that's helped a little bit. So anyway, that's where we're at now. Um, we'll be there, I don't know, about an hour and a half or so, I guess, to Dangerfield. So. Yeah. Hey, okay, so I got my anti-glare. Uh, anti-glare uh, travel glasses on but anyway so we had a a little uh, diversion where Google Maps kind of took us a uh, we're gonna end up going out of our way a little bit but the ride is a lot more pretty um, we're out in the middle of going heading towards Atlanta Texas before we hang a <laughs> left so got goofball back there so anyway we stopped at a little uh, little little gas station topped off and got the oh man all right since uh we got goofballs behind me so we're following barry and stacy they're leading the way with their imagine and uh so now we actually have the wind kind of at our backs a little bit and with all the trees it's a lot less scary than it was going down the interstate to the route. Christmas in the park, third week in December. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not us. Okay. Okay. Oh, danger field. In a quarter mile, make a U-turn. So we gotta get our up front look. Here we go. Danger field state park. We're going to Mountain View, which is to the right. There's the lake. There's a sketchy Sketchy house. It's an old yeah. like cabin or caretaker's house or something. Yeah, sketchy house, huh? Yeah. The back opens up a mountain view care. Oh look how tiny. <laughs> a little baby one. Yeah, Wait a second. Are they parked in the web spot? <laughs> Alright, so there's Barry and Stacy. <laughs> Their lot is in front of ours. <laughs> Uh, we should have gone first because I think ours is just just past them <laughs> Okay, so this uh, and you'll see it in the morning, but it was an event getting set up Kids letting bugs in and all so we got our uh, Getting everything set up 
So you notice we finally got to set up while it was dark, but hey, nothing like the maiden voyage. So tonight's gonna be like it's warm. Literally, we have the uh, have the AC on. Tomorrow is gonna be in the 30s, so we get to do the furnace tomorrow. So all in one trip, we get to uh, experience wonderful things. Barry's still sitting up here. It was a really tight, tight place for his trailer. But all these, they're all tight. Just made backing them in and getting them level. And they're like on a 12, 15 degree angle. So trying to get them level is a pain too. This is so unlevel. Barry's actually going to have to back this up. We're going to have to re-level. Keep coming. Keep coming. So the girls are making fajitas over there. So we get this treble move, trailer move forward. Got to get it clear with this box. Hey! Perfect, dude. Unless it goes up into here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess. Yeah, you got two inches left. Yeah, it was still going. It's part of her class. That is what I want to do. Finally got our stuff set up, went out to the lake. Yeah, you can see the lake. There's a... This one, it'll be a lot more fun tomorrow. All right, so we got a, got in late last night. It was a fiasco getting our trailers in because the, uh, the sites are so small. I mean, geez, Louise. Um, and they're not even. So uh, we spent a lot of time trying to get our tra trailers uh, leveled and into the places they needed to be and you see how high how high I had to get that thing jacked up I mean it's a it's on a pretty good pretty good hill and and Barry's over there I mean we literally you can see Barry's off over that direction I mean he had to I mean we had to jack the truck up to get more blocks underneath the uh, the the front jack just to you know be able to get them level because it took a lot so anyway we finally got in late at last night enjoyed it went back down to the pier the girls are down there now they're uh, everybody's checking in so i'm um, i cooked on the uh thank god uh barry and stacy let me use their blackstone griddle oh man i am so getting one of those um so that's uh where we're at right now all right after a good hearty breakfast of bacon and eggs on the blackstone uh, Jen and Barry and Stacy went to go get checked in down at the place. They brought the girls down to um, get some fishing done. So we're going to head down there and check up on them while the rest of the adults are getting checked in. ranger a little while ago he said that uh anybody can fish there's no you don't have to have a texas license or anything so this was the one we saw last night the girls have already gotten out here to the fishing area where they feed the fish so it should oh and jen calling so brandon did y'all catch anything yet Mm -hmm. I feel like right in here. Yep, this looks like the, I guess that's the fish feeder right there. So, y'all should be able to entice something. Are we just been kind of dropping it? Yeah. I'm kind of letting it sink. Cool. Would they be under the dock? They could be. So, we just walked up this. This 500 something foot mountain. Now we're going to take our selfie. Mm -hmm. So we're going down the trails. Pretty slippery with all these, all these rocks and leaves on the rocks. So the leaves make it traction a little difficult. 
just a gorgeous view. We're coming up on the lake here from the top of that mountain. I got a stick. Ooh. I'm going to go on that side of that. The girls are over there. That's the coming up on the pier. And coming up on. So we were just on Mountain View Trail. So we're going to the Rustling Leaves Trail. Preserve it. <laughs> what are you doing, Brendan? I'm trying to put my pants over my shoes. <laughs> so we're eating at a place called Kits. Brendan is so excited to eat the awesome meal that they have. Here at Kit's Diner. All right, so we just went and ate at the, uh, what's it, Kit's? Uh, yeah, over Kit's there. Cornbread. Kit's Cornbread. Ooh, it's good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got these uh, uh, cinnamon and raisin uh, peanut butter from, oh, what was the name of that place? Oh. Nutties, I guess, because that's the name yeah. of it. Nutties, I guess. Man, it was good. So I got my cinnamon raisin. Barry got him some. I didn't get it. Well, I put mine straight in my pocket. <laughs> and then we got our little sweet it's cinnamon. Sweet. Man, you talk about good, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the uh, the girls are back there looking at Christmas and little trinket stuff. So Barry and I are sitting on the husband bench. <laughs> so uh, they knew. Uh, I guess guys would be coming in here, needing something to do while their women are shopping so spending money. spending money so yeah we're gonna chill out let our food digest okay so i was i was summoned to the back here so we're gonna i didn't play with the ones with the rest what do you got back here yeah, oh antique yeah. mm -hmm. see so we went into a little little store that has all sorts of cool stuff and you talk about food, oh my gosh. Fudge out the car. Wonderful. They had this cool car sitting out in front. Okay, you're getting this photo on. Anderson from South Bend. South Bend, Indiana. Oh, is it, so it's a Ford. Yeah. Okay. Didn't know Anderson had anything going on with Ford at the day, at okay. the time. The wooden one. The wooden one. Oh, cool. We're walking down Jefferson, downtown Jefferson. Got all kinds of little shops and stuff. Deer stands out there. Deer stands. 
snow characters glittering lights, and it's all surrounded by snow falling every night for Christmas Eve. Evidence that no place is immune to the mix of commerce and spirit allergy that marks modern day Christmas. Our candy canes, and if you need to go back into the depot, you must walk around and enter through our front door. And with all that being said, I hope that everyone has safe travels, has a happy holidays, and yes, enjoys your time here in historic Jefferson, Texas. had a big important role in Texas and national history. It uh, was built in 1856. In 1858, Judge Todd moved in. And Judge Todd was one of the signers of Letters of Secession. And this <laughs> Sure, y'all enjoy your evening. College and baseball. Baseball and college. Right. We decided to stay All right, so Barry and I got our, uh, we went to get us some breakfast this morning from the wall, uh, from the McDonald's, and then we came back, ate, and then Barry and I took off on these electric bikes. Man, you talk about fun. Going up and down the hills was real, really easy with that electric assist. Girls over there. Okay, looks like Jen's starting to get everything ready to be put up. So we're going to have to pack up and head out. Good thing for me is I don't have to get up on the roof of my... <laughs> yeah, I'm the poor seven. <laughs> my fingers on my gloves. <laughs> so it got cold, man. It was like got down to 29 last night. So right now it's just, now I guess, mid-30s or so. So we got back on the bikes and our Barry's fingers are numb because he didn't have some good gloves like I do. Yeah. So now up here. Now he's up there having to <laughs> sweep off his slide. So I guess I'm blessed to not have to do that, but I tell you what, that slide sure is nice. Walking around inside though, open everything up. So we had some new new camper come in, another big, big trailer back there. But for the most part, most of at least in our loop, it's it's small RVs and tent camping type stuff. Somebody stayed in that Kent tent last night. Like I said, it got down to 29. Oh my gosh, they must have had some serious uh, heat and blankets or something going on. So anyway, we're gonna load up and get on out of here. So we're getting all the sawdust. Apparently, I guess it just settles down from falling from various areas. So Jen's getting that cleaned up. Girls didn't catch any fish. It was really cold though, and not a whole lot going on, but. We're glad they were able to enjoy that. Uh, get a little fishing pole set back up in there. Get all our stuff done. I need to get that black tank going. So we ran out of a uh, gray tank filled up twice on us. Uh, I guess all the showers and stuff uh, really filled it up a lot. So we uh, need to get this black tank set up and spraying and emptying all right i'm about to flush the black tank does anybody else need to make any contributions to the black tank before i flush it they don't know what that means do y'all need to pee or poo no. before we go oh okay just check it okay. all right got the uh black tank draining lots of goodies coming out barry's needing aid yeah what you need barry uh, Thing. Oh yeah, we got that. To, oh yeah, yeah, we should have plenty of battery. Oh, sookie sookie, I think we can get you that out for you. Or... Oh, that's right there. Yeah, so we got it hooked up and ready to roll without any issue. Getting out was so much easier than getting into those uh, unlevel spots, but um, we're able to get everything. Barry likes my Ryobi tire inflator. <laughs> he topped off his. Uh, 
his tires before we left. And uh, we're heading home. Got out by about 11, for about 11.40ish. And uh, heading back to West Monroe. It's an overall fun trip. Enjoyed it. Goofy head back there playing on her phone the whole time. She didn't enjoy it near as much as I did. Oh, oh she did enjoy it? Did you enjoy it, Goofy head? Okay, she liked it, so she had fun, even though she didn't catch any fish, but it was fun. So. Alright, so nobody's in the rear view, so I'm gonna take the lead from Barry. Let him draft on me for a little bit here on the interstate. straight home and took the main highways but, uh, overall for the maiden voyage we enjoyed it um, I think it's 10.5 miles to the gallon yeah yeah the hill to Comer got to 10.5 uh, wasn't expecting that much of a drop off on our uh, on our uh, gas mileage but you know I don't know we were, we were clipping along pretty good 65 close to 70 miles an hour most a lot of the time so but anyway we're about to get off and uh, shut it down here at our next exit. All right, we made it back. Got it back on this little pads. I'm gonna go back and put gravel down. Give me actually a legit pad with a with a covering to go over it. But anyway, I need to lower down my little deal, and we're gonna call it a good maiden trip, I guess.